What's up my people? Welcome back to another video. Please subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber and click that top bell icon to get notified whenever there is anything new on the channel. And also people, please and thanks, give me a thumbs up on this video. So as usual, I have some things I'm going to share with you guys. So the first thing I'm going to get in on my people, bill application for policeman Noel Maitland aborted. Defense attorney on Wednesday aborted their latest attempt to secure bail for Constable Noel Maitland, who is charged with the MURDER of his girlfriend, Dana Lee Donaldson. The bail application was scheduled for Wednesday morning in the Home Circuit Court, but when the matter was mentioned, the Crown advised that it was informed by Maitland's defense team, defense team via a letter that it no longer wish to have another try at bail maitland who has been in custody since july 27 was further remanded until january 17 2024 for plea and case management hearing he is charged with the murder and preventing the lawful burial of a corpse 24 year old social media influencer Dana Lee Donaldson went missing on July 13 after she was last seen at Maitland's home two days earlier. So, guys, leave your comment on that and we are going to move on to the next, right? Second accusing Palwell family MURDERS received seven year sentence for accessory before the fact. The other man implicated in the slain of the infant daughter of opposition member of parliament philip palwell and her mother was on wednesday sentenced to seven years and ten months in prison for the offense of accessory before the fact the sentence was handed down in the home circuit court in downtown kingston for the other offenses which he was charged for two counts of conspiracy to kidnap and miss prisoner for felony those sentences are not yet known. He was charged in the MURDER of Palwell's 10 month old daughter Soraya and her mother Tashnia Pattison, who went missing from their Gilmore Avenue home in St. Andrew on September 9. Early on Wednesday, his co accused was also sentenced to a 30 year in prison on each of two counts of MURDER. He will have to spend a minimum of 20 years behind bars for the MURDERS before he is eligible for parole. The sentence are to serve concurrently. In October, the men accepted plea deals for the murders and kidnapping. So far, three people have been charged for the crimes including Paul Wells' alleged lover, United States Navy culinary specialist Leoda Bradshaw. So, you see, Leo that Bradshaw and our cousin are the two of them are going to get everything because them two are ton witness. So, I them do the crime, so everything are going to come out. You know what I mean? And the mastermind that are Leo that Bradshaw, she are going to face it. You know what I mean? What a wicked act, Bridging. So, we are going to move on, my people. Leave your comment in the comment section and also. Give this video a thumbs up, my people, right? And if you're not subscribed to the channel already, please subscribe to the channel right now. So we are going to move on to a man we get caught up and drop out over in our parish of Portland, right? A laborer from Portland was shot and killed early Wednesday morning. He is Romeo Tiger Grant of Port Antonio in the parish. According to the police report, Grant was at home asleep when a man armed with a handgun allegedly forced open the front door to his house and fired about seven shots at him. The police were called and Grant was rushed to the hospital where he died whilst undergoing treatment. The incident reportedly happened around 5.45 a.m. This has moved the number of murders in the parish to 14. Investigations are ongoing. So, R.I.P. to that man. Condolences to his family. And we are going to move on, people. So, the driver, you know, my people, he had an accident where the five person drop out. You know what I mean? The police, them did have him as a person of interest and tell him to turn in himself. 
him do so with him lawyer them all on upon him and get a court date so this is the result of the court date with people driver charged with causing five people's death to return to court monday the prosecution is to respond next week to a bail application made today in the case of Delroy Rodney, a taxi driver who is charged with causing the deaths of five people in a vehicle a crash on Monday in Westmoreland. Rodney, who is represented by attorney Lambert Johnson and Mistress Solomon, made his first appearance in the Westmoreland Parish Court before senior parish judge Walters. However, his case was adjourned until Monday. The defense made the application for bail and the prosecution will respond on Monday for the judge to give the final say, Salman told our news team. She has also sought to refute media reports that her client, who is a senior member of the Belmont community in the parish, had fled the scene of the accident. He is not a flight risk. He has been at my chambers from 8.30 yesterday morning, Rodney's attorney insisted. So, you know already people, him charged with five person drop out. You saw me I say, a mother and her daughter, and a son and his mother, and a next lady. You see it? All of them are from Westmoreland. It is reported that about 3.30 p.m. on Monday, November 13, all five deceased persons were aboard a great Toyota Noah. When the vehicle collided with a white truck, they were transported to the hospital where they were pronounced. Rodney, who was driving, was later charged with five counts of causing death by dangerous driving. So people, when you know me, I go tell you no. Tell the people them to take time and drive with honor. And who are drive, take time and drive. Better you late than never. You understand? Take on the time on the road. Especially in a demo time here. Security guard accused of fatally stabbing woman, dumping her body. Charge. A security guard has been charged for allegedly stabbing a woman to death and dumping her body. And for sure. Road in Falmouth, Trelawney, on Wednesday, October 25. Charged with murder is 23-year-old Aston Mitchell, otherwise called CJ, of Arch District in the parish. Dead is 25-year-old Shanice Burke of Arch District, Trelawney, and St. Margaret's Bay in Portland. Reports from the police are that an altercation developed between Burke and Mitchell during which a knife was used to inflict a stab wound to her neck. Mitchell then reportedly transported Burke to Foreshore Road where he dumped Burke in the bushes. Citizens stumble on Burke's partially decomposed body about 9.50 a.m. on Saturday, October 28th and summoned the police. On the arrival of the lawmen, the body was transported to hospital where death was confirmed following an intensive investigation an operation was carried out on saturday november 11 during which mitchell was taken into custody he was charged on tuesday november 14 and is scheduled to appear in the duncan's parish court on tuesday november 21. so people find better ways to solve the issue i don't know what really go on yes okay them not give too much detail but them say boy them in a some altercation and the brother use a knife and juke up her in her neck and she drop out and him go dump her. You know what I mean? So walk away from an argument. You see me I say and it won't escalate to the level where somebody get hurt. So let me know what you think in the comment section. So we are gonna move on my people and we are gonna go over in a Queens, New York. We are Jamaican landlord. That's where three person, including him girlfriend. You see me I say, me see this thing here circulated on social, on social media from, I think about yesterday me see it or the day before yesterday. But me never did a take into it. You know what I mean? Me never know say it was a Jamaican or maybe them never mention it. But now, 
me have a full story for share with you know, so make we get in at me people a jamaican landlord in queens new york is facing murder charges after reportedly confessing to stabbing to death his girlfriend and two of his tenants according to the new york city police department the 54 year old man walked into a police station tuesday morning and told officers he had been having issues with tenants at his home before telling the cops he did something bad at his house the cops then rushed to the address and upon their arrival at the two-story house around 7 a.m officers found two tenants a man and a woman dead in the basement and the suspect's girlfriend deceased in an upstairs bedroom the police said noting that all the victims suffered multiple stab wounds the man whose identity you know what i mean the jamaica news them are with me no know if the americans them release him identity but jamaica said them are with L his identity because him not get charged yet so them say he's facing charges of murder and criminal possession of a weapon according to the police neighbors reportedly described the suspect as a nice person who mostly kept to himself the suspect has no criminal history according to the police he is a native of kingston jamaica so people may go keep you know, up to date as soon as there's more information on this so let me know what you guys think in the comment and also my people subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber so you can get notified when anything new is on the channel and also give the video a thumbs up so that's all i have to share with you guys today or for right now so bless upon yourself and thanks for watching